Welcome to this Mastery Empowerment Course from New Earth One Network. This is designed exclusively for your higher self connection and embodiment. Welcome to this Mastery Empowerment course. This is an introduction to breaking quantum physics, and this is being the first to step out of the old and into the new, stop that looping cycle, and really be grounded and present. My guests today are two very powerful women here to talk with us about this process. Jules Arnas is here, along with Shannon Pardini. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, thanks for having us. As we start, we are going to first give a synopsis of the current energies, and then we're going to let you present this introduction. But we were sharing about the current energies out there. And we can feel people and others, and there's a way that we navigate this so that the energies of this transition keep us grounded, keep us in the hearts. So I'd like you both to just share your uh, perspective of the current energies that are that we are moving through. That would really help us. Thank you. Do you want to start? <laughs> okay. Um, well, to the dear audience and collective, it is definitely, um, we're seeing, right? We're stepping into our authenticity. We're all moving through the, the vehicle of ascension within the body, which we see the old paradigm is breaking down. It just can't survive. You know, our biotechnology as humans has always been sophisticated and intelligent. And it's getting turned on. And regardless of what we what the the frequencies are, we know that they're coming in and they're very much of an expansion, a beautiful expansion. And we can see the veils, the veils of separation. And all our beloveds and dear ones are feeling it. You know, they're they're able to see themselves in a whole new light. But it, it's just a time where if we can ground and it, it's not that easy, but if we can ground in and trust our authenticity, it's much easier to stop the chemical reactions within ourselves and others. And so it, it's taking really deep awareness and we're having a lot of observation with the narratives and everything going on on the outside. But truly, you know, the bigger picture is it's there's such a holograph out there and we don't have to play in it. You know, it's again, the body is so sophisticated where we don't have to play in these uh, massive interruptions day in and day out. There's more intelligence there for us to tap into. So from there, Jules, I'll just kind of pass it to you. I, like, I totally love everything you just said. And I know there's one thing that I'm just going to mention here. And I started doing this in 2015 is I, well, I was actually told to disconnect from media altogether. And that includes books and podcasts and everything. And what ended up happening is that exactly what I needed to know was always shown to me. 
and I, you know, I've been doing this for now almost eight years and I've never not known what I needed to know. And what it did was it really started to gamify reality because I always knew whatever was shown to me was for me to see and that it wasn't to see it at the frequency it was being shown. It was inviting it in as information of what's possible. And in that way, it was everything started to ascend very, very quickly because I didn't get wrapped up in anything that wasn't for me. And it and it also made it a lot easier to decipher what is this? Why is this being shown to me? And what is it actually bringing me into? So then life became the ascension game and it so I just, I just want to offer that because I know there's going to be a lot of chaos going on, but it's not all for us to experience where it's here for whatever your experience within the chaos is for you to experience. So that part of us that wants to go searching for everything and know everything is that primal part of us that thinks that if we know all the bad things that are going to happen, that somehow we'll stay safe. But that's not what we're all here for. We're here to have our one part and this is the easiest way that I have found to do that. But do you know that there does come a time where we can start to tap into the collective once we get really, really good at that. And then you're able to gamify everything and you don't even have to unplug in order to do it. But in the beginning, I strongly recommend it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing those perspectives, ladies. It really is important for us to behold this and uh, take those words into heart and to really be grounded. And I like to call it allowing this light. We know more light is coming to our planet. And this is reaching for that light, embodying that light and not clinging to anything. And I love Jules how you made your life the ascension game. And that is a good perspective for all of us to reflect on and to work with and play actually with. So thank you. This is Breaking Quantum Physics. That is an intriguing title. As we know, quantum physics is actually proving what the great gurus and sages have been saying all along. And so this is a program, this is a launch of a new program that really is allowing us to upgrade our brain and body and human potential. We can become the advanced human here. So I'm gonna let you both share in this introduction. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren. Well, I would say let's start with what does breaking quantum physics even mean? Because it is kind of this weird thing where, well, what? It, why would we want to break the quantum field? And so I think let's start with what that means. And what that means is right now, no matter how far into the quantum field we go, if we're in observation of the field, we are still observing the matrix because we're observing something that is in a programmed reality. And that's really, that's a high level of consciousness of what I just said, to be able to understand what the other side of that is. And that's what this class is actually teaching, is that there is another side to this, and that there is a way to actually exist within the field of observation without actually being an observation of it. And what happens in that moment is that we become an intelligence outside the field altogether. So I'll let Shannon kind of piggyback on this because it's it's kind of nice hearing it in two different ways, just because this is a very high state of consciousness. It is a very high level to kind of be able to take in. And so that's what I love playing with Shannon for is that we both can kind of hold it and deliver the information in two different ways. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So yeah, breaking quantum physics is, it's bringing in your mastery. We all have the potential to learn consciousness in a way where we can turn it into intelligence. And so what do I mean by that? With breaking quantum physics, we go through step-by-step -step processes. 
where we work through the mental mind, we'll move through different consciousness as if it's a ladder and stabilize in different areas. So again, with consciousness, like think about it, like before COVID or even a year ago, we had a certain consciousness, right? And there were different aspects of our lives that changed very quickly that shifted us to either a higher observation or we went deeper into our looping programs because we didn't know how to access a higher frequency to shift the consciousness into intelligence. So with breaking quantum physics, it's a beautiful vehicle and it really takes Jules um, framework at activate evolution, but we've applied it in um, a series where we can really move through the ascension process fast. So with the ascension process, it really takes moving through consciousness, holding the consciousness long enough where it changes into an intelligence, where it starts implementing in your body, where you can have a different awareness. But with our frame, framework, we allow you to start expressing the DNA instead of looping in the systems that get us caught up in stagnant in these frequencies. So we do the mental body, and then next we'll go into the physical body. You know, there, there are different frequencies of intelligence and consciousness. And so together through this series, we're able to hold the field long enough, break the looping cycles in these different areas, and take the step ladder up in consciousness where you really start turning on genius within yourself because you are expressing DNA versus having all these reflections of pulling in information. So from there, <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of pass it over if there's any questions or if Jules wants to speak upon something. Did you have a question that you want to reflect on in that, Lauren? Okay, so I'll go ahead and it kind of, I let, this is what I love about working with Shannon is because we we both can say exactly what needs to be said where this all kind of started was i my you know my passion is to ascend the body and to really become the advanced human and right now we're only using about 10 to 15 i'm going to stretch that 15 percent of the actual electric charges that hold intelligence so we work a lot with turning on DNA codes, but it's done in a way that that intelligence is holding a frequency or a field for the body. And right now, there's so much focus on the mind. And it's the body that actually needs to turn on because the DNA is actually holding our, our truest intelligence, right? It is pure source intelligence. And so when we start to turn on the body in this way, the very environment that our consciousness is existing in is changing. And so our consciousness is going to begin to meet the frequency of the intelligence that gets turned on. And what we're doing in Breaking Quantum is we're actively taking, like in Breaking Quantum 1, we take each organ and we take it out of its looping cycle. We take it out of the cycle of how it's working and we bring it into this intelligence and let it start to work in the way that it was meant to work at a hundred percent potential. So the way we can even look at it is that right now we are having the experience of the body in the third, third dimension, you could even say, or through the matrix would even probably be better said but it has the ability to start to function at a much higher level. You can only imagine what, what we're capable of doing right now at that 10 to 15%, what we would become if we turned on 100% of those codes that are holding DNA intelligence, everything changes. And so this is the first step to actually experiencing those changes by holding a field with others that are actually going through the changes as well. And I'm going to say it's a very magical experience, but at the same time, it is very step-by-step. Step. This isn't hard. It's just doing the steps and then allowing yourself to stay in those frequencies for a long enough period of time, which we're holding the field with you so that you can consciously meet it and then actually experience the shift 
not only consciously, but through the body too, because the body is the part that's, that's the part that we're missing, right? It's the part that's coming with us this time. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that you take each of the organs and you work with them to take them out of the looping cycle. Can you clarify how you would know that your organs are in a looping cycle or what's going on there? That's just, it's, an, it's an easy, What pretty much if we're existing, <laughs> it's in the looping cycle because the we, that's what, that's what we were talking about in the very beginning, because we're in observation of the field. I was actually just kind of hanging out in this frequency this morning of even how science because this is how science works is that we observe things, right? And we observe and we alter things. And then we observe that. And then we come up with theories or even with the body, like science still doesn't understand the body after observing it for as long as it has. There's certain things that we know, but there's a lot that we don't know. Well, there's a reason for that is because when we're observing something that's already been created, we're not actually moving into the potential that it actually has. And that's what I was talking about, the way that I see reality now. Whatever is shown to me, I don't need it at the frequency that it's at. I see what's beyond that. And so if we're only meeting the organs and the function that it is now, we're only seeing it in the frequency that it's actually holding because that's what we continue to reflect back and forth. But there's a whole nother level of intelligence that's above that. And that's what we're starting to tap into. And when we start to do that, we start to realize that we're so much more than what we're experiencing now only because we're willing to move into the intelligence that's outside of what's already been seen. It's exciting. Do you want to add to that, Shannon? Sure. Yeah. So just to add to that and to create a bridge, um, going into breaking quantum itself and looking at all the looping cycles of the organs, it's, we go in there together. So it, one can gain clarity of what the body is doing and why it's accessing this particular looping cycle. And so we do bring in attunements to hold a frequency of no space, no time. So we go in and kind of just not seal off the cycle, but we make you aware of it. And then we go into an attunement to hold it in a higher bridge where we're in no space, no time because that's the body's true nature. It really likes to be in that space because it's not bringing in all these timelines, right? So for instance, if someone is having an issue with a particular organ and it's, you know, it's just creating all types of chaos, well, really what's help happening in the body is, you know, our thoughts and, you know, the different timelines are organizing around that specific area in creating blocks, it's creating patterns, and it's creating looping cycles. So again, each week, we're going to go into an area, we're going to bring in a really high attunement, which helps hold the field of no space, no time, because that's when our biggest shifts can happen, because we're not creating timelines in these specific areas. Because again, we all know we're multidimensional. But in breaking quantum physics, we have to, you know, slowly go into this step by step. And so one gains awareness each week, you're going to realize how multidimensional you are. But with the process itself, with um, looking at each of these areas, everything will start to quiet in your body, because you're holding that no space, no time, you're aware of how much information you're pulling into one area that doesn't need to be there because you're expending so much energy just in the thought and the cycle and the patterning that's creating, you know, just, it creates issues. We know this, we know belief systems create issues at this point <laughs> and kind of clog up the energies and, and so forth. So yeah, it's, it's really an exciting adventure because there's, two styles to breaking quantum of getting attuned. One, you get the actual um, breaking quantum physics where you get to go into the lecture series and watch as Jules and I, we wanted to step into ascension. We really wanted to, to do this together where we're like, let's prove, you know, we're so much more 
and they get to watch a coherent story of us channeling, you know, moving through different states and figuring out these pieces of, you know, how we need to go about to teach our group step by step. And so we realize like these are the organ systems because where we were going on the land, the land was giving us information as well of how to shift in these areas. So with Breaking Quantum Physics, you have one portion of the lecture series that's taking you on a wonderful adventure to attune yourself to these shifts. And then two, you have the live classes where we actually go in, in a very step-by-step, we break it down, very logical. We hold space for anyone's questions because that's where everyone does most of their learning is learning from each other. And we're also holding the field. And with these specific tunements as well, again, we're giving um, each of us that feeling of no space, no time. So we're not in creation of all these timelines. So the body has a, a sense of, you know, how to start really working with it, its natural state to become, you know, truly what you authentically are in a DNA expression way. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the one thing that I don't think Shannon mentioned is that we do actually give you a technology to start working with to actually start turning on the DNA expression itself. And that's a lot of fun to experience as well, is that we don't just ask you to do it with your mind. We give you act an actual technology to work with that begins to turn on those codes when you are maybe experiencing some density or let's say even pain, or you know that you're working with a certain uh, part of the body, that each week that you're given a little piece of the technology. So by the end of the series, you have three, basically three different symbols that are teaching your body how to exist outside of the matrix, hold that no space, no time, but even more importantly, that the last piece of the technology is holding the body or the DNA in expression over observation, so that the only frequency that it's actually picking up on is the DNA intelligence or source intelligence. And that's a huge shift for the body to go through, but it's also not hard when we have the tools to do so. Can you share a little bit more about DNA? This, we get a question a lot about DNA and what it is. And when we look at DNA and epigenetics, we know that epigenetics is, it affects, uh, it is the thoughts and the emotions that we can trigger the DNA. But DNA is actually... Every, it's almost, we could call it almost the Akash. It's every experience we've had in the lineage of us, even in past lives. And so what we're doing here is shifting out of that into a higher intelligence. Can you explain this a little bit more for us? I would love to. <laughs> this is, uh... so yes, for me, the DNA is is transcribed with Yes, everything that you just said. And, but, and also epigenetics, right? They get turned on when we are at, when we're stressed or the body, it, because of the body's environment or where the body is located, the environment of the home, even. But what we're doing is we're turning that inside out because the DNA, when it's functioning at its highest level, is an expression of pure source intelligence. And, I can say that, and this kind of comes a little bit later in our teachings, but I think it's important to note it, is that with the looping cycle, even of age and disease, of aging itself, is it, it is a looping cycle of the matrix. And uh, about a year ago, a really good friend of our family's passed away on his 22nd birthday. And it took some time, but because normally when people close to me pass away, they come pretty much immediately and I feel them and we have a connection. And I didn't have that with Vale, is his name. 
And not only did I not have him, but I couldn't even remember what he looked like. It was such a weird experience. And it was about two or three weeks after he passed away, he showed up in my kitchen. And the first thing he said is that it's not supposed to be like this. We're not supposed to die. And he told me to get a pen and piece of paper. And he told me to sit down and he just started and I just started writing and it was equations. It was images. It was, I mean, it was so detailed that I got done and I had no idea what it was. But the one thing that I did understand is he showed me a picture of the flower of life and how it was inverted the way that we are experiencing it because it created the loops. And I immediately understood what that said, what it meant, but he also gave the equation of how the body can actually break out of this looping cycle. And that is part of breaking quantum. And this is the first part of that. And so what, what he was showing me is part of this equation is DMT. So when DMT is released, when we are first born, it is basically transcribing source intelligence into the DNA. And then it's released when we die. And we transcribe, it basically takes that intelligence. And that's the part of us that moves out of the body. And what he was saying is that we're not supposed to die in order to have or to have the experience of source intelligence either before or after we're born. We're supposed to turn on that intelligence in the DNA so that we become that intelligence. And consciousness is the tool that we use to become intelligence. And once we are 100% of that source intelligence, we are no longer conscious. We are just intelligence. We are the purity of what we were before we were put into the body. So the DNA is the part of us that is holding that intelligence and is all we have to do is ask for it to be turned on and then consciously attuned to what it's saying. Do you want to add to that, Shannon? <laughs> That's deep. That's really deep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> do you want me to go ahead? So yeah, just adding to that, um, that's the beautiful thing about quantum physics. Everything Jules just expresses, you can see that she just loves and is so tapped into the technology of the DNA and its expression. And it's so fun to work with her. You know, it's so fun to step into those fields of consciousness with her because I will admit, you know, I haven't integrated everything in my body yet. But what is happening for me is I don't have chemical reactions anymore when from breaking all these looping cycles and systems and spiritual laws, you know, which we do in breaking quantum physics. For me, I don't have um, any chemical reactions in my body anymore because I'm not creating all these timelines. And why is that? Because my DNA is starting to express. And so in DNA, it's, you know, to me, I look at it as our, um, you know, our quantum computer, and it always knows source, it's fully tapped into source and is aware it, it is, it wants to be in the field of no time, no space. But it's like Jules said, it takes consciousness and to step into it and fully allow it to turn on. And that's what's fun about ascension is, you know, the matrix is what it is, but the matrix is a consciousness that allows us to take the step ladder up to attain what that source consciousness is. Because when you see looping cycles at different times in your consciousness, you can start to turn those off because you're holding a field now that realizes what you're seeing is just complete, not true for your source. And when that's held long enough, you're able to go to the next consciousness, right? And so our ascension, like you see how everyone's moving through ascension, they get ascension symptoms, or they gain clarity, or they go through dark night, dark night of soul, or just, you know, they have these profound quantum leaps and shifts. 
but th there does come a time where you start holding it and it becomes the next intelligence. And so, you know, that's also DNA and source holding us saying, hey, come up here. There's so much more to be explored. And, you know, again, it's that's what DNA to me is. It's it's our a quantum computer. But, you know, through this process with breaking quantum physics, we really clean it up. Right. Just like our computers, we, we have these organized filing systems and sometimes we don't. But we'll go in and start restructuring and deleting and and so forth for where we're at. Well, that's what we do deep inside is we start releasing all these congestion looping systems, really a lot of timelines that are just impacting in the body by awareness. We get aware of what we're in creation of. We know what we don't want more of because it's not serving us. It's creating all types of chemical reactions. So we start stepping in to our authenticity and a consciousness of, hey, let's shift this. And when it's held long enough, then, you know, the neurofeedback of really staying disciplined, right? Disciplined and focused in your higher choices, then it becomes the intelligence and the DNA is right there to support you. It's right there always giving you the next big hit. But we also, there's work to be done. Right. It's like, again, when I think of the Ascension game, there's so much information out there that is just like so overwhelming and convoluted and all these different descriptions of what people think it is. But really, like, I like to keep it simple. To me, Ascension is just purification, right? Purification of the mind and the body. And, you know, we really provide that framework to keep it simple in a step-by-step -step process where you can start moving through this consciousness, release the density, and then you have a team with you that's holding the consciousness till you get it. Then it turns into intelligence. And that's what Breaking Quantum is throughout its series. And, you know, again, for myself, like I said, I don't have chemical... Um, reactions anymore the the matrix to me is just information i look at it as information and i don't get caught up in it and i'm allowed like i allow myself to turn on my genius because again my body's in such a state of this pure channel where i really can feel what's truth and speak of it with clarity to share with others because i want them to hold this field too and you know jules is just that it's like when I think of Jules, she's she's such the um, I always call her the mothership because she's so clear and so dedicated and in, in her integrity and focus to really hold, you know, what the DNA can do. And it's just a blessing, you know, that we were able to really um, just expand in what breaking quantum physics is, because it really became something that is just it's pure joy. And so anyone who's joining in, you know, you get to gamify your consciousness. If anything, you don't have to step in and think this is so complicated. You're coming into this organic uh, system of the DNA where you get to gamify and level up and play in these spaces that are actually quite fun to know yourself in. And it is, it really truly turns on your authenticity and just again, it's just a blessing to play in these spaces. Thank you, Shannon. I, I want to just bring in uh, one of, I, I call her our, our star child. <laughs> and she's, uh, she's one of our teachers, but she has, she has been in Breaking Quantum. And I just, I love to just bring this in because her experience in this literally blows my mind every single day. So um, her name is Kathy and some of you maybe that are listening to this know who she is, but she started breaking quantum and went full force. She went all the way in. And when she came in, her blood sugar was at around 400 and she was overweight. She had trouble walking because she couldn't see her, feel her feet very well to walk. She had a lot of inflammation in the body. And when she started turning off these leaping cycles, she immediately went, went into a fast. And then she started just listening to that intelligence. Her body started telling her exactly what to do within 
weeks, her blood sugar was down to 117. Now we're, what we're, so this started last October. So now she has lost over 30 pounds. Her blood sugar is right at or between 117 and 140. And she's feeling the bottom of her feet. She's having to learn how to walk again because she can feel her feet now. Well, this is just a few months that this woman has changed this much. And that's not including just the consciousness behind it. Just like Shannon, her chemical response to life has turned off. It's a lot easier for her to hear that clear guidance to stay in the expression itself. So I love that, you know, Shannon and I both have our own experience of, of breaking quantum and turning on the intelligence but this is somebody that just came in and started doing the step-by-step -step process. And this is the experience that she's been having. And so I think it is important to just say this out loud because this, anybody can do this. That is really amazing. And I'm so glad that you shared that example of the looping cycles, because I can sense that some might not really understand what that is or how would we, we would even begin to recognize the looping cycles. And so, Shannon, this is a question for you. How did you notice or how did you come to understand when you were having a chemical reaction and this makes us feel like maybe it's our thoughts is it the thoughts and feelings that we have that create those chemical reactions or maybe triggers is another word it's a whole body process <laughs> again it, it's going back to the dna and um you know, basically we're all programming ourselves, you know, even when we're in our mother's womb. And so again, we're picking up on all these repetitive behaviors and patterns. And for me, how do I know a chemical reaction in looping system in my body? Well, I can feel it. It doesn't feel good. It's, you know, I'm fixated on lower frequencies, um, you know, like for example, say relationship. If I'm struggling in constant cycles of a relationship, right? Because I've never experienced the bridge. It's just, I'm used to being comfortable in these frequencies of limited patterns, right? Like say self-betrayal, like keep picking relationships that don't serve me or, uh, you know, betrayal, picking partners that, you know, aren't uh, in their integrity with me. Again, it's, it's the limited beliefs, right? And the limited beliefs get stored in the DNA and you can feel it. It's like, we all know we want to do better. We all know we, we get the beautiful hits from our higher consciousness showing uh, us who we can be. But if you're stuck in this fixed perspective, because, you know, maybe you've never shifted to a higher consciousness or held it, you're in these looping cycles. So what do you experience? You know, you have like, I'll just name a few examples. Like you have a hard time with your weight, you know, you're having the same issues um, and chemical reactions to pains in the body, or, you know, you're having issues with family members consistently, but it's kind of, it's the same field of energy. It's not just with the family, it'll extend out to friendships and, and so forth, just different types of relationships. It's these cycles, but the body gets comfortable in these energies because it doesn't know how to shift. And we know with consciousness, it has to be held for a certain amount of time to really become the intelligence. But we also have to be gentle with the body. When the body's having a lot of chemical reactions or is really deep in these limited beliefs, you know, you move through the consciousness process. Um, slowly so you can attain the intelligence. Some of us do quantum leaps and that's okay, but what we'll experience is, um, you know, sometimes when we are making a quantum leap in consciousness and we're, we're really like seeing the limited beliefs and we're done with it, it's sometimes jarring to the body at first because it's like, oh my God, I've made this massive shift, but I haven't held it long enough for it to become this intelligence. So um, again, it's, 
You know, I think we all know what our chemical reactions are, right? We know what we're addicted to, even, you know, say our the frequency we have with something like stimulants or coffee or what have you. It's a frequency, right? It's like we think we want it, we need it. It's kind of this looping pattern inside the body that's pulling us towards it. But again, the beautiful thing is it's just stuff we've patterned over time. It's, you know, it's how we've programmed ourselves to be in these little fixed perspectives and they get comfortable, but there comes a time where we all want to shift. And so again, the shifting comes with a lot of chemical reaction, right? That's kind of what actually shifts us is like, finally, enough is enough. I want to feel something different. And so we make better choices and we have more spiritual discipline and we move towards soul family or, you know, shows like yourself, Lauren, that hold a field of energy. Again, it's like you're holding this beautiful field of energy that, uh, you know, over time helps people like really stabilize in a frequency beyond themselves and make a shift. And again, that shift is happening within their DNA and how they're expressing their DNA and them letting go of programmed reality because it just dissolves sometimes. Sometimes it just dissolves and it's you know not something that you're gonna keep in your thoughts. So hopefully that's helpful. I'd love to piggyback on just one thing that hasn't been mentioned yet. And that w- that's what is a chemical response. So we all know that a chemical response is the chemical of the body. And we have those, we have the good chemicals and then we have the bad chemicals, but they're still chemicals and chemicals are connected always. If you really think about it to primal response even something like oxytocin, the falling in love, it, it's released when you have a baby so that you want to take care of your baby. It's released when you, you fall in love with somebody so that you have more children. It's based in the leaping cycle of basically the ongoing of humanity, right? But Or it's there to keep us safe, but it's always based in primal response. When we take the body out of the looping cycle, it takes out primal response because primal response is part of the loop. It's right. Just like what Veil was showing me, it's part of the loop. But when we take ourselves out, then what starts to happen is we can still have the experience of maybe what those chemicals are, like let's say the joy or love, but we're holding it in a frequency instead of a chemical. So an emotion is connected to a chemical, a feeling is connected to a frequency, and we start to live our lives in feeling because feeling is very stable. It doesn't matter when you're in the frequency of love, you're in the frequency of love, no matter what, you're not dependent on a chemical to be, to be released in the body in order to feel that you feel it no matter what. And that's what, that's a huge part of breaking a looping cycle. So no matter what's going on in your environment, you're expressing through DNA intelligence or that source intelligence through the frequency of love. And that's all that your experience is. And so that's an example of what Shannon's talking about, of how we definitely can move out of chemical to frequency. And this is a very clear example of how that happens. Beautiful. Thank you for explaining it both so beautifully and clearly for us. So is there an experience that we could do, a brief experience so that we can experience the bridge, feel the bridge, um, get out of the looping in a general way, or maybe just a feeling so that we can hold the frequency And I know we have to continue to hold the frequency to allow the intelligence to come in. And maybe before we do that, you can explain a little bit more of what you mean by the new intelligence coming in. This is like, we know what we know within us. Like when you turned off the news, the media, podcast, that sort of thing, you knew you were shown because you were in that frequency. So can you explain that a little bit more and then maybe do a little experience? Yeah, you know, for for me it's it, first of all let's say that this isn't hard. 
There's nothing about this that's hard. All we have to do, so to turn on, let's, let's say somebody's out there is like, well, I don't even know what to do. What is my next step? Well, all you have to do is ask. Just ask. Because when you ask, even just clearly stating, turn on the frequency that's most that I need to, to tap into right now. Just turn it on. And just by asking, the DNA is going to start to turn it on. And then it's your job to consciously listen or feel whatever it is, whatever clear that you, that you use. And, and if you don't know what that is, then ask for that. And we just keep asking. And that's what that's doing is it's taking you out of unconsciousness and it's waking you up. And then as soon as you're woken up, you have the, the choice of, well, I can either listen to this new information that's coming in, or I can stay in the frequency that I was. And when you have that choice, then life becomes really, really easy. You either choose this or you choose this over and over and over again. And you're going to fluctuate between the two. But that's what I mean that it's so easy. It's like, oh, you just ask for it. And then you have the choice of whether or not you listen. And then the more that you choose to listen, the easier it is to listen and the clearer the information is and all of the fun stuff that starts to happen with that. Do you want to add anything to that, Shannon? Sure. Yeah. So I'm just going to add with breaking quantum physics to just relate with what Jules said is we take you through each different consciousness and you get to explore that. So everything she just said, you're going to be able to put yourself in a field of experience and to have really the multidimensional experience, but to always have the bridge to the source consciousness, to the divine, to the higher state of the DNA. So again, it's really a beautiful step-by-step -step process and you know, the bigger picture is we're helping you hold the frequency, you know, and you really become a different person after five weeks because you're being given, you know, this steady frequency where it, it's just being held for you and you get to kind of look at the consciousness of where you're at in your day to day but there's always going to be a reminder of where to get back to for the divine source for that week. So again, it's just super lovely experience. And again, you know, just in the, the short period of five weeks, a lot of uh, shifting will be happening in good ways. <laughs> Beautiful. So what are you thinking, Lauren? Do you want to do, I could do uh, just a little kind of turning on a, uh, just the frequency of connection to that intelligence. I feel like that's a really good place to start. Does that sound good, Shannon? Yeah. Do you want to bring in Lou at all? Yeah, I think I'll just, what I'll do is if you actually look behind me, you can see some of the technology that we use. What I'll do is I'll, I'm just going to turn on each one through the pineal gland and the ascended DNA. And then so our purpose is to basically take that part of us that wants to go searching for the answer outside of ourselves. And we're going to turn it inside out. So the first symbol is going to do just that. It's going to, to bring the ascended DNA, the cell that's holding that in the pineal gland into that space of no space and no time. And then the second symbol is going to be allowing consciousness to be held in no space and time. And then the third symbol, we're going to turn on expression of that source intelligence so that you can have the sensation of what that feels like. And then you can, of course, have fun with that afterwards of just kind of staying in the consciousness of what that feels like. All right, well, let's do it because it's so fun. <laughs> okay, so if you'd like to, you can place your hands on your heart or you just leave them in your lap and we'll just shut our eyes and connect to that heart center. And the first thing that we'll do is bring in the seven elements. So the seven elements are seven rays of light that hold seven states of consciousness, bringing in the experience of no space and no time. So as we breathe this in through the nose, allowing it to absorb into the brain, allowing that light to move down through the spinal column as it activates the spinal fluid that your physical brain is floating in. 
just awakening that support system, that connection, allowing this light to enter the heart space, into the bloodstream, and just feeling as your body begins to move into that zero point. And if you have any thoughts coming in, just allowing those thoughts to absorb into these seven beautiful rays of light. And as the body is holding this field, we'll move into the pineal gland, into the ascended DNA. And we'll just telepathically hold the first symbol of the Lu. And just, you don't have to know what it looks like, just allow it to enter. And as it's entering, it begins to spin, working with the DNA. bringing it into no space, no time. And just noticing that as it's beginning to work, you may feel pressure in the brain as it's clearing or diminishing. Those electric responses, the synapse responses connected to the need to know information outside yourself, the searching, that place that's connected to the primal response of survival. And then we'll bring in the second symbol, allowing this neutral space to be held consciously and just noticing how you start to feel the body open up into an expansion. starting to neutralize. And just holding that symbol telepathically. And then we'll bring in the last symbol, allowing it to enter the ascended DNA as it turns on source intelligence in full expression. And feeling this expression moving through every cell of the body as your entire body becomes the expression of source intelligence. Just feeling how your consciousness has the ability to meet this intelligence. You can even push your consciousness into the experience allowing the consciousness to become the intelligence of the body. And then just letting yourself have that experience for just a moment. And then bringing your attention back to the breath. And then we say, thank you. I love you. It is done. Thank you. That was palpable and uplifting. Mm. And vibrations are raised, expressing source consciousness. That feels squeaky clean to me. <laughs> I love that. Yes, that's so perfectly said is that we move back into a place where it's clear. It's, it's just that crystal clear. There's no questioning. There's no doubt. This is our, this is what we're supposed to be all the time, right? Is in that expression of an intelligence that's so beyond anything that there's no doubt. There's no room for anything but perfection. And we all have the ability to live there. Well, thank you. That was a beautiful taste of the work that you both do and bring in this program. Tell us more about the details of this program, if you will. Perfect. Well, it starts on February 8th at uh, two o'clock Eastern time. It runs for five weeks. It's an hour each week. And just like uh, Shannon was saying that it is a lecture series, but it's, it's, 
really beautifully laid out because we actually travel to different states and we're recording our journey of how we are actually breaking quantum physics as we go. So you get to go through that experience with us. And then of course we have the written material, the homework that you'll do. That's a lot of fun when you're actually starting to work with the technology. And then the the live series where we do processes and answer questions and that sort of thing. Did I leave anything out, Shannon? No, that's perfect. Yeah. It's again, you're going to go through a very, um, fun vlog style journey where we go to some of the prettiest destinations we were called to in each of these states and again working with the technology so they get to go through that and um, hear our story of how we were breaking quantum physics and seeing all the synchronicities that happened and the information that was you know it was channeled but also just again, the synchronicities, it's like each state that we would go into, the information would get much clearer, the steps would be even more so clear, and, you know, why we chose the direction where we did with all these beautiful um, areas that we went to work with the land, and also just, just play in consciousness, so pure joy, I think, you know, anyone who is a big yes to this, you're going to just receive 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 and you know it it really is unique I haven't seen anything out there like this and you just have so many different styles to play in where you authentically can show up in whatever is going to be next in your consciousness it's beautiful because you both are ahead of the curve ahead of the curve that will be hopefully someday in the journals of epigenetics as the world shifts and people shift from using this technology. And there's one thing that I would like to ask. I can feel there's a question coming up about the technology, the symbols, Jewel, that are behind you. Those were channeled, I'm guessing, yes? Tell us more about those. Yeah, so these three symbols... Again, <laughs> I've, I've been actually working with them since I was about five years old. Uh, when I was really, really young, I used to use them to fall asleep. So I would take them kind of out of just with my fingers and I would put them inside of my brain and it would basically put me to sleep. And now, of course, We And also with Shannon's help, we started using them in other ways of kind of how to use them in kind of the same way I did as a child was, okay, I know that my brain is registering information of the the looping cycle, and I have the ability to just turn that off. Of course, now we're taking it to the next level where once it's turned off, what do we turn on? And it's been a lot of fun using them in that way. And they work. I I mean, the miracles that are, it's so fun to see what people can do because it's doing it for them, right? And it's all they have to do is have the experience of what's happening. And it just works so much faster than trying to figure it out on an intellectual level. It's kind of like, just turn it on and then let yourself figure it out from there because you are already witnessing the shift is all, then all you have to do is kind of hang out and see, well, what exactly just happened? And, but your consciousness is held in a field where it's very clear what happened. You're not trying to figure it out anymore. And that's what I love about what we're doing is you know, a lot of people are talking about what the ascension of the body is or what the ascension of the mind is and what that is, but there's not a lot of people that are actually showing you how to do it. And we're literally showing you how to ascend the body. Okay, beautiful. (laughs) This is something that I can feel people in resonance with and a desire to work with this and to behold it and to become it. So it really is extraordinary. Kudos to both of you for bringing this forward. I want to say that the link is and the information is right here on this webpage or in the description box of wherever you're watching or listening to this. And we invite those to join you. It really does sound intriguing. And just imagine in five weeks, 
how you will have shifted, how your life will be different, more connected to source, more authentic. And that is beautiful. You guys are both doing wonderful work for our world and our planet. A tremendous service. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Right back at you. <laughs> Thanks. As we say goodbye, is there anything else you'd like to share about this course or this information? Shannon, I'll let you take over. Yeah, I think in closing, again, it, it's a journey and it's a step-by-step -step process and it may seem a little abstract and in information at first, but it's not because your source consciousness truly does understand this. We're just giving you the stairway of consciousness to tap into what your genius is and, and really how to use it. You know, no, it's just right there waiting for you to bridge in and then it's gonna suck you right up <laughs> so you can play in these spaces that we're meant to play in, right? Life doesn't have to be so, um, challenging it really can be a multi-dimensional space where you have access to that no time no space where all these timelines that you once created you shut them down and you create peacefulness and joy and you really hold the resonance of what that is versus you know getting into a chemical reaction and thinking that is what it is if that makes sense so again come join us it, it's it we don't take it seriously even though we know ascending is a serious business but we it's just so nice to have a group and really unfold in such delicate places but truly just start to shine so i'm excited to see all of you and again lauren thank you so much for hosting us Thank you. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Shannon. We are creating the stairway to heaven, creating peace and joy. A miraculous journey in consciousness. Thank you for pushing the envelope. Thank you. Namaste.